up guys back with another video today's video is the samsung gear 2 and samsung gear 2 neo explained now last night samsung unveiled their next generation smartwatches so samsung announced that there is two models now of the gear there is the gear 2 and the gear 2 neo now the gear 2 features a 2 megapixel camera that has been moved up from the wrist strap all the way up to the actual faceplate. samsung went as far as to add an ir blaster to the device so now you can't control your tv now the main difference between the Gear 2 and the Gear 2 Neo is that the Gear 2 Neo does not feature a camera. Both smartwatches are running Samsung's new Tizen mobile smartwatch platform, which was developed in collaboration with Intel. Now I made a quick video quickly going over some of the features involved with Tizen. I'm going to go ahead and drop the video link down in the description next to the like button. Now Samsung says that the users of the Gear smartwatch can expect an enriched app ecosystem, as well as compatibility with a dozen other Galaxy devices at launch. Samsung will be releasing the Gear 2 as well as the Gear 2 Neo in various colors, and Samsung stated that they also have plans to lower the original Galaxy Gear smartwatch down to $100 if you have a device and $150 if you don't. Now, if you have not yet noticed by now, Samsung has also elected to drop the word Galaxy out of the device's name. Now, you will still need the charging cradle to charge the unit, and Samsung has moved the charging pins, however, they still are located in the interior of the device. Now, the only physical button on the original Galaxy Gear smartwatch was on the right side of the unit. They have removed that button and made a physical home button right underneath the screen itself. Now, the Gear 2 and the Gear 2 Neo are rated IP67, meaning that both variations of the smartwatch are dust and water resistant. Now, some specifications that we can expect to see from the Gear 2 and the Gear 2 Neo are as follows. Now, we can expect that the Gear 2 will have a 1.63 320 by 320 Super AMOLED display, along with a 1 GHz dual-core processor, 512 MB of RAM, and 4 GB of onboard storage. The Gear 2 will have a 300 mAh battery, which is slightly smaller than the original Galaxy Gear smartwatch. However, the operating system, along with some of the battery-saving techniques that Samsung is going to implement, should make for a pretty long-lasting battery. Samsung has stated that off a full charge, you should get 2-3 to three days with typical use, and up to six days with light use. Now, once again, both versions of the smartwatch will be running Tizen. Now, in terms of fitness, the Gear 2 has a heart rate sensor, a pedometer, a running, walking, cycling, and hiking mode, along with a sleep and stress mode. And with the Gear 2, we'll also see a new option for an interchangeable wristband. Now, for the Gear 2, the wristband color options will be as follows, charcoal black, gold brown, and wild orange. For the Gear 2 Neo, the color options will be charcoal black, mocha gray, and wild orange. Now the Gear 2's main sensors will be an accelerometer, a gyroscope, and a heart rate sensor. Now the Gear 2 will weigh 68 grams, while the Gear 2 Neo will weigh 55 grams. Now once again, back to the 2 megapixel camera, it will shoot in three different modes, 1920 by 1080, 1080 by 1080, and 1280 by 960. And as I stated before, the Gear 2 Neo will have no camera. Now the Gear 2 will also record 720p HD video footage at 30 frames per second at 15 second intervals. Now another thing to note about both versions of the new smartwatch is that they have actually gotten rid of the awkward looking screws on the front. Samsung has also moved the speaker from the clasp over to the body of the watch itself, which is a positive feature and will let you swap out the wristband and it should be at 20 millimeters for the size of the band itself. Now unfortunately Samsung did not announce a price tag for either version of the smartwatch. However they did say that they are going to release both versions internationally sometime in April. Once again guys I did make a video briefly going over some of the features of Tizen which is going to be the mobile operating system found in both versions of the Gear smartwatch. So once again, the link to that video will be available down in the video description along with my other social networks. I also have a free review the best application for both iOS and Android. The links will be available down below. I'm going to be giving away a Gear 2 smartwatch here on the channel, so make sure you're a subscriber. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for me on this one. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, now's a great time to do so. Be sure to drop a thumbs up down below. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.